What's up, everybody? It's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio12Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio12Tutorials, pick up your premium membership. It is 50 cents a day. And don't forget to stop by CMPKits.com. Get yourself a copy of Drill MIDI. Get yourself a copy of Drill Loops 2. We're going to be using these packs in the tutorial today. And don't forget to stop by your Spotify page. Follow the Spicy Sundays podcast. Follow me on IG at Craftmaster3. It is the quickest way to get in touch with me and get a response if you have any questions. Now, today I want to show you guys something that will help you out when you want to make drill beats or um, you know any new type of uh, vibe that requires you to use an 808 glide. And that is my settings for um, making an 808 glide inside of sample one, right? So it's super easy. What you wanna do is you wanna focus on the amp section. Make sure you got your attack decay and your release turned all the way down. You wanna have the sustain up. You're gonna have your trigger as normal. And what this allows you to do is you, you're gonna draw 808 notes and when you draw the 808 notes, they're going to cut themselves and they're gonna stop when the, um, you know, when the 808 is stopped, right? Um, you're gonna you're gonna engage mono, which that's gonna that's gonna cut each 808 note off, and then you're gonna engage glide. And then for drill tempos, if you set your glide time between, you know, 56 and 70, you can kind of fine tune it however you like it, you'll be fine. And 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 you'll be on your way to making drill stuff. Um what I do, uh, a real quick note is when I get an 808, especially if you're, especially like if you're using like a, uh, you know, you're trying to, you're trying to really get into the vibe of something and you want to use like the, re the ready kits or something. Uh, what I like to do is I like to have a tuner after my 808 and I want to make sure the way that this, like the way that this 808 comes, let me show you the way that it comes out of the box, right? It is it's a little it's a, it's a little off the pitch center and i don't like that um so if if you it, you can work this with the tuner if it's if your 808 is like setting over here right you want that you want that green it's going to it's going to it's going to enhance the tuning of your track um all right so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get um is I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to my drill pack. Oh, let me see here. All right, let's go ahead and grab a loop so we got something to work with. That'll work. All right. And let's go ahead and grab some of my MIDI drums. Um, and we'll just, we'll drag the 808 in, right? So we'll drag the 808 file in, drag the kick pattern in, and we'll drag the snare pattern in, and the hi-hat pattern in. And then, um, when I do these, when I do these products, uh, this is similar to you guys that are familiar with my plug and play MIDI. Um, when I do, when I do these products, what I do is I, you know, everything, everything is written in C, but all you got to do, you know, especially, especially if you're using, you know, you guys are using studio one, um, just, uh, just take in, just take and drag this up to the chord track. And then, you know, it'll tell you, it'll tell you pretty much what, uh, you know, what the, what the chords are or, or, or what the bass note is here. Or if you have, um, you know, if you have a loop, and and this isn't necessarily working out uh if you have a loop and you see that you see that the person wrote it in d minor um you know these are all written with intervals that'll stay in key you just highlight them all transpose this to d and now we have this uh this bass line <laughs> So 
So it's as simple as that, man. Just knowing, just knowing some basic settings. Again, you want to you want to turn your uh, you want to turn your your attack the uh, decay um, release all the way down to you sustain all the way up. Uh, click mono, click glide, and you know get yourself between fifty six and seventy milliseconds. You can you can fine tune it as you like. You know, really use your ear. And you will be on your way. So this is CMP with Craftmaster Productions Studio One Tutorials dot com. CMP kits. If you want to get if you want to get MIDI and loop kits like this, it'll make your production super simple but not basic. I'll see you on the next one.